Good evening, everyone. I'm Dr. Kevin Skinkus, and I'll be your guest host tonight for the RBTV Halftime Show. Joining me throughout the show will be head football coach Brendan Curtin. Welcome, coach. Thank you for having me. Later on in the show, we'll have some guests uh, from the football team, but the first segment, I'd like to just spend a little time uh, getting your thoughts on this uh, upcoming season. Absolutely. So tell me, coach, you're in your second year. What areas or what, what strides do you think you've made uh, now that you're in your first full season as the head football coach, you had an off season, you had a summer camp. Uh, sure. How do you think that's Absolutely. going? Absolutely. Well, I think there's uh, noticeable improvements in, in all areas of the program. Um, in terms of this season, I'm seeing uh, decisive um, improvements in special teams, defense, and offense. I think our defense um, accumulated four takeaways just last week. Our, uh, our special teams is giving us an eight-yard advantage on field position per possession. And, uh, you know, our offense is showing uh, the flexibility to be a balanced offense in terms of the uh, program overall and heading into year two. Um, Obviously, having an off-season, getting to know these kids on a more personal level has certainly uh, been advantageous for the staff, players, and everybody involved. So no question, seeing a lot of improvements. That's great. The district uh, didn't do you any favors. We hired you uh, late April of uh, 2012. So, uh, you know, like I said, you were kind of rushed through your summer camp. The second favor we didn't help you out much with is we put up a pretty tough schedule together for you. So why don't you talk a little bit about the challenges you've experienced the first half of the season? Sure, that's, that's football. You know, football is a game of challenges, and we as football players, as you know, accept those challenges. We embrace those challenges. I think it has been a, a difficult first half of the season. However, as I've told the kids before, I think um, throughout the course of each game, there has been a point or a, a stretch of time within those games where we have outperformed our opponents. And so now it's just a matter of putting all three phases together and being able to do it for 48 minutes. So um, certainly the schedule um, was tough to open up with, and hopefully now that we're battle-tested, we're uh, primed and ready to go for conference play. So you're at that Y in the road. You had a tough start with the 0-4 record, some games you were in. Uh, well into the fourth quarter. What do we have to look forward to with the second half of the season here with five games remaining? Well, I think, um, you know, with, with uh, where we're at right now, you know, we're a little bit banged up physically, but the thing uh, I enjoy most about working with this team is we don't really talk about necessarily second string, third string, things like that. We talk about next man in. And uh, so many of our guys have grasped and uh, embraced that role, if you will, in terms of being the next man in. Um, we lost uh, a couple of key receivers in Mike McCabe and Mike Davis and Matt Chap, and uh, you know guys like Dean Zigalich have stepped up tremendously. Um, even Jack Vandermark has made the transition to receiver. So a lot of guys are stepping up, and I know that they'll continue to do so throughout the course of the season. Well, that's great. We'll be back with uh, some of your players and get their thoughts on the uh, rest of the season. Sounds good. Watch the all-new online Classic Sports Network at rbtv.tv. Welcome back to the Halftime Show. Joining us now is junior defensive lineman Nick Kandari. How are you, Nick? Good, how are you? So you had a good first game and then you had a knee sprain in that first yeah. week. You had to miss a couple weeks. How are you doing? Uh, I'm I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty much back to full strength, so I'm ready to get back out there. Well, I'm sure Coach Curtin's happy to have you back out there too. Nick was a welcome addition in week week four, so we're happy to have him back. No question about it. Tell me what 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 where did you stand or, or watch the game from those uh, second and third week that you were out? Um, well, sitting up top in the booth gives me a totally different view on the game. I can see things that you can't see from being on the field or even being on the sideline. So, I mean, I was able to see things just like body language and how much that makes a difference from up top and just seeing how, how different people move and how different alignments are. So that was, it was an eye opener to say the least. That's great, that's great. What do we have to look forward to uh, the second half of this season with Nick Kandari back on the defensive line? Um, just playing hard every play. Uh, I mean, I wanna get some you know, I want to get my sack, of course. Um, keep playing hard, playing as a team. 
Tackles for loss, right? TFL is my favorite. Up. Tackles for loss. So we've had some. We, we've given up some points here yeah. in the first half of the season. How is the defense going to respond uh, the second half here? Um, I just think that we really just need to keep doing our jobs, and if everyone does what they're supposed to do and not too little or too much, then I think we really can be successful and keep the score low. So. Yeah, the old adage, uh, 11, 11 jobs at one time gets it done, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's great. Now, listen, not to, not to break off from football because I know we're at a football halftime show, but if I'm not mistaken, you're a lead singer in a rock band? Uh, yeah, I, I sing, unfortunately, and uh, <laughs> I, I play some guitar, too. Very good. So that's, that's why we have the, the rock star here, um, do? Of course, of course. <laughs> Coach, have you ever heard uh, Nick perform? I have, I have. I had the chance to watch Nick perform at, uh, I believe it was LaGrange, LaGrange Fest, I think yeah, it was. I um, like got to see Nick's band. He's uh, quite talented, no That's doubt great. about it. Absolutely. What are you looking forward to this off season, Nick? Now, I know we still have a half a season left, uh, but what personal goals do you have set for this off season coming up? Um, I really just want to get a lot stronger and a lot faster because that's one thing I learned through playing just – even the minimal amount that I've been able to play this year on varsity, that it's a very physical level, much more physical than sophomore. And with Coach Donato, I'm, I'm really excited to get back into the weight room all, all winter and spring. So, Any forward. encouraging words you'd like to send out there to the future Bulldogs that are watching this that are considering playing football? Do it. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's probably one of the best choices I've ever made um, playing at RB. I love the coaching staff. They're always – pushing us to do our best and um, yeah just just do it. It, it it's one of the best things you can do coming into RB well that's great we wish you nothing but uh, a healthy next f five weeks and uh, a good off season and uh, thanks for joining us today Nick thank you we'll be back with more after this on the RB TV halftime show watch the all-new online classic sports network at rbtv.tv. Welcome back to the RBTV Halftime Show. Joining us now is number 78 offensive lineman, Louis Grigoletti. Did I say that right, Louis? Yes, sir. Yes, All sir. right. Uh, Louis has been a three-year starter on the varsity football team at Riverside Brookfield. So let's start with that. How do you see yourself, um, how, how have you progressed from being a freshman starting at varsity now that you're a junior? Do you feel more comfortable out there? Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, as a freshman, you know, you know, I went in there, uh, you know, two games after, you know, you know, I was with guys and I didn't really know that well. You know, as the season progresses all the time, you know, I get to know the guys better. You know, I progress as a player myself, you know, with, you know, lifting regimen and whatnot. But, uh, I mean, going from freshman year to junior year, I definitely feel a lot better you know, throughout the years coming up with these guys. And, uh, you know, this year I'm playing with a lot of the guys that I played with the Raiders. They're in my, uh, they're in my class. So, you know, I, really, I feel really comfortable with this group. You know, I, I got to admit, the best group that I've been with, you know, I mean, this is a close-knit group. And, uh, you know, my progression throughout the years, you know, I've seen that. I've been getting better every year. And, you know, I'm excited for these, uh, the rest of the games that we're going with. And, you know, playing with these guys that we are, you know, I feel really comfortable with this group. So, so it's been a little bit of a transition <coughs> since when you were a freshman. Uh, and I believe Coach Reck was your head coach, and now you're on your second year uh, with Coach Curtin. Uh, talk to us a little bit about that transition and what we have to look forward to the rest of this year and next year. Okay, right, yeah, I mean, uh, the rest of this year, I think, I think we have, uh, you know, I, I think we've really got some potential. I mean, I mean uh, you know, this, the, we're, we're, we're clicking anytime soon. I mean, you know, we just got to keep up with good practices. We got to keep up, you know, with, you know, staying on top of the little things, like Coach always says, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of things are going to, a lot of good things are going to come out the rest of this year. I mean, you know, conference play. You know, I think I think we can come out on top of conference. And uh, you know, the transition between Coach Reck freshman year and Coach Kern it hasn't been, uh, you know, it wasn't much of a difficulty. Honestly, Coach Kern took over. I, th I think he's done a uh, tremendous job with that, and I, I feel comfortable with him and his coaching staff. And uh, you know, I and you know, regarding this year, I think we've got a lot, a lot ahead of us for this year. A lot more football to play. So we're definitely excited about that. What's something you'd want to say out there to our young Bulldog listeners who are thinking about playing football when they come to RB or are currently at RB and are thinking about playing football? What would you have to say to them? Well, to them, I, I got to say, I mean, football, uh, I think it's one of the best things you can do in your, in your high school experience because, you know, coming, in, coming into uh, 
coming into high school, you know, it, it's uh, probably one of the best ways to introduce yourself to, you know, you know, a lot of the staff, a lot of the people helping out with the football team, and you're, and you're definitely going to make a lot of friends uh, on the team. And, uh, you know, it's a great thing to do. You get a lot stronger, faster, and it'll, it definitely puts you on the, uh, the right pathway to, you know, becoming a, you know, a successful student athlete, uh, I mean, in, as in case with many of the guys who are playing this year. So, you know, it's definitely something I, I would highly encourage to a lot of the guys that are coming into the school. Great. Three-year varsity starter. Uh, you got five games left of your junior year and then your senior season. Uh, are you anticipating wanting to play college football? Yes, sir. Yeah, um, I have been, uh, you know, I've been, you know, you know, sending up uh, some tapes about myself, you know, trying to get things like that going, maybe some camps uh, later this summer and uh, later this year. But college football is definitely something that I'm, I'm looking forward to and, you know, I'm preparing for with myself, you know, focusing on, on this season uh, mostly. But, you know, always in the back of my mind is, you know, what can I do to put myself in that position to, uh, you know, go further in the fo in, uh, with football, you know, because it's something I've been doing. This is my ninth year doing it. And I'd love to, you know, just keep going through another four years and, you know, anything, anything like that would just be, you know, mean the world to me. So, That's yeah. That's great. Definitely. That's great. Well, thank you for joining us. And we'll be back after the break with some more Bulldog football players. Watch the all-new online Classic Sports Network at rbtv.tv. Back to the halftime show, and joining us now is senior captain Lewis Rogers, better known as Lou Raj, as his friends call him. But Lewis is a multifaceted player for the Bulldogs. He plays offensive receiver, slot receiver, corner, safety on defense, also does kick and punt return. Mm -hmm. um, Coach, I'm assuming he's one of your stars. Yeah, he's an Iron Man. He never leaves the field. I think he leaves for a uh, kickoff and, and punt maybe sometimes. But. Uh, Lewis is certainly a uh, young man that we've leaned upon quite a bit this year, and he's come through each and every game. That's great. Lewis, talk to us a little bit. Uh, how is that transition from when you're going from offense to defense, defense to offense, and then having to stay out there special teams? What do you do to keep your mind right? Um, I just keep thinking it's not for me, it's for my team. Doing, doing everything for my teammates, whatever I can, to help put us in a better position to get a W. Okay. You've, this is your second year with Coach Curtin. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit about how you feel the transition has gone from that first season where you guys really got together in, in summer camp mm -hmm. uh, to now where you've had a full year, the off season, summer camp, and spring workouts. Um, transitioning, it, it, was a, it was better because we had him for the entire season. Like you said, we started the second season with him in November, and we kind of got to um, – Kind of got to link head, like bump heads, or not bump heads, we kind of got to. <laughs> bump you know, heads too, and yeah. get to like, know yeah. one another. But yeah, we kind of got the link, and a lot of the guys really uh, wanted to uh, do what he what he was preaching and everything. And uh, going back to last year, starting the summer, I felt like we didn't have enough time to get very comfortable with the system he was running. I know some guys were still like, yeah, the old coaches did it this way, so I might still want to do it this way. But uh, having them for all that time was great. What part of the game do you enjoy the most? The first kickoff. First kickoff. Yeah. Why is that? It starts everything up, gets the blood, gets the blood flowing, the juice is pumping. It just gets me excited every time. I like that. I like that. Um, what What do you have to say to any junior Bulldogs that are out there watching or students that are currently at RB and aren't playing football that are thinking about playing football? What would you recommend? Um, I would recommend you just come out and go. And if you do come out, don't don't come halfway and then be like, all right, I don't know. If you do come, come at it full go. Put your all into it. Would you recommend that they should try playing football? Most definitely. It's the best sport in the world. Okay. Okay, Lewis. Lewis, were you here this summer when they did that uh, Marine workout? Yes, I was. Why don't you talk about that for a second? Uh, it was it was challenging. <laughs> we had a bunch of different workouts to do from carrying each other 50 yards to 
crawling under each other for 20 yards or so. But um, I felt like that kind of helped bring the team closer together. That's great. And since we were all going through that at the same time, it was like, hey, we, we could do this. We could do this. Stay up with us and go to translate into the season. When we do hit adversity, we're not sitting there pointing fingers at each other. We're trying to keep each other up, keep each other going. Well, that's great. Lewis, I want to thank you for joining us today. Coach Curtin, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us, Doctor. And uh, that's the end of our halftime show. We're going to send you back to Shuey Stadium for the third quarter of tonight's game. Thank you.